And Zelda only have one flashbang though. No real utility to speak of. Well, let's see how they use this flash on Depths. He's playing over toward Heaven right now. Squeaky door blown off and the U2 in towards Main as well as Alex. He's out towards Yard having a look with the USP in hand and one expert odds are favoring Furia here. Alex, well, wow, delivers. So does Mopos. Simple stuff. Yuri and Case are out of the fangs of Fury are dead already. They need to be able to chip away at something here as Death chimes in as well. This one is looking clean. Yeah, it looks like uh, the job has been done. Just safe remaining and uh, I'm sure he'll be able to do anything with this one. Does find the opening kill towards Mopos, but uh, bomb down on the upper bomb site here. Just looking to cause a bit of damage and remove some of the Kevlar on the CT side. Opportunity of a kill towards Main, but uh, he'll have absolutely zero chance of winning this one. So very well handled here for Movistar Riders. Now as clean as you like, the jewel he's delivering. It was more possible to manage to get the two opening kills upon arrival here, so great work by him. And they've put their best foot forward here to kick off the second map. Okay, well, CT pistols in both halves. Uh, sorry, both maps. True. Safe. That's Hang another on. kill, so there's another 300 bucks. And identified where a third player currently resides. Now, he still has 38 seconds on the clock. He could maneuver around towards the heavens if he'd like. Martinez, as you can see here, highlighted waiting up on the rafters with the bomb just below his feet. Have now, they accounted for this? They will. They will, because it, at any moment, the penny should drop that, hey, he, he could have rotated around. There you go. Martinez at least acknowledging. He's considering it. He's not committed to it. And uh, I don't think it'll cost him unless the first five block works on the ladder. And, <laughs> oh, and so... A slight little bit of worry there, but it is going to be a very clean pissed around, and that's how they want to kick off this map. Yeah, seldom will you find success with the burst fire Glock option, especially on a ladder. But uh, there we have it. The first round goes in favor of Movistar Riders. It was like a while ago where this all kicked off in the upper bomb site. Quite an early push in towards A, but uh, the dual elites doing everything they had to and spotting the head there of the final player. It wasn't really an issue towards the end. They lost a couple of kills, but... Uh, should be 2-0 here, as it's a full eco now for Furia. Just one flashbang for themselves, trying to get the bomb down the vent, something like that. See if they can get a plant anywhere, but uh, uh, let's get a bit more than he bargained for, going near that squeaky door. Oh, this is the uh, milk everything from the CTs that you possibly can run. Yeah, that's pretty much all you can do here, isn't it? There's, it's unlikely you find a kill. You can send everyone into the, the same choke point after you bait out some grenades, but ultimately the result shouldn't remain the same. But uh, here's the first kill from Mopoz. And he takes down Art in the end. Still have that flashbang available to them, but they'll just uh, pump the brakes for uh, a minute longer here, perhaps. I'll push. So I, I think one of the conversations that would have been had outside is obviously not play too loosey goosey Counter Strike, but uh, make sure that you're taking jewels that you feel comfortable with, that you're initiating certain fights, that you're, you're not just being dictated to. And when Furia have a bit of a pace to them, Blair was highlighting it when they pushed through the B doors. We were talking about Yuri getting flushed forward. That you know that was. Them not giving any space. So we'll see how they're able to operate here on the T side. Dabby G. Nice clean one there for the first. And the second looks good too. So it should be all good in the hood as the Julie's come out. Hello. Safe gets a kill. The only one so far in this map to get kills for Furia. But I'm sure that would change now. You'd hope so. That was the full eco. Yields one frag. And uh, that's pretty much it. Safe is the only player on Furia to find a kill so far. Three and two right now. But as Chad mentioned, that should change accordingly. We are seeing the... Investment now coming to the follow-up round, five AK-47s. Pretty decent utility, all things considered. And in terms of residual weaponry, Movistar Riders will be operating with an MP9 and a FAMAS. So a disadvantage in some senses, but uh, the MP9 more than serviceable in a lot of different positions here on Nuke. And we'll see a bit of outside presence being taken here. I always like it when Furia go outside. It's uh, a breath of fresh air. A fresh of water. A breath of fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> I always am so careful now when I say that phrase. It just, uh, I think it's poison my brain. But uh, oh. here we go. It's going to be a crossfire of doom enabled here between Martinez and Alex. They actually get the first couple of frags. As Fura en route towards Secret, this is looking very uncomfortable for them now. And we tend to see why they don't go outside. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> could be why. Swept under the rug here for the cleaners to worry about. It's a problem for another day, unless Safe can continue to be the only man to frag. As Squeaky Door is open, that sound cue was heard, and that's put on notice here. Yeah, they'll be very aware of that. The call will come in from the hot position. Deaths trying to avoid them if possible, but they just hightail it towards lower. Safe is already down there, yeah, good point. They'll have to negate the bullets of uh, oh! RPG. They've done more than that. They've absolutely blown him out of the water. Bomb does go down. 
five on three. Now down to a four on three with the bomb planted. This one might take them straight back to Ancient if they lose this round. Yeah, it could do. Popo's very low, has been rumbled no. in the vent and is starting to find it's a so different far away, of Chad. Ball. Yeah, time is already starting to tick quite quickly here. We're almost at the halfway mark. There is the molly in the hands of safe as well that they can deploy to stall this out if they need. The fights are about to go down towards this window side and safe lines up two, drop grabs another and it's just deaths. The last man to drop through the vents. That is a five on three uh, situation that they never should have lost. No one wants to see that. No, that was quite the shot from K Serato. That's a red beans and ravioli mommy right there. Yeah, absolutely. Holy moly indeed. We will see Furia pick up their first round. Another gut punch for the Movistar Riders. Here they take nothing into the follow-up round there. A five on three. It all started outside with a couple of kills lining up for him. Art and Yuri were removed, but Keserato a showstopper towards the round. That's how it all started. Getting caught rotating down the vents. It was a, an awkward one. They just couldn't access the lower bomb side. Then all the aggro taken away by drop there, enabling safe to spray them down. Excellent work, and it's a full eco now for Movistar Riders, winning the pistol now, Ooh. nullified almost. It's crazy, right, that they gave so much space away in a 5v3 number advantage situation. That's all it comes down to, safe getting that room and then being able to get out, squeaking, go down the vent, and now K. Serato opens things up. Yuri continues the punishment towards Yard. Oh, wow. A five on three. Everyone's alive and well, and somehow, some way, it all falls apart for them. They didn't get a single follow-up kill after that. Yuri. And now, on the back foot once again, P250, Deagle, a USP. Uh, at the very most, they, they might get a couple of kills, but uh, we'll see what they can make of it. At least next round's a full buy. They'll have everything they want, right? Even though the loss bonus is only 1,900 into the next, that's why they took this save. You can see the residual cash currently next to the names. So everybody should have a rifle, some util. Be curious to see how they want to operate with Martinez, who will have enough for the AWP. It's, uh, nothing else really to go alongside of that. Well, these Deagles still having a little bit of a look around the map. It's Kay Serato to greet deaths. There's two more to find now. Looks like Fury are more than happy to hit the brakes. And oh, that's a bit of a miss right there. It, very easy to track. And here they come. Uh, well, he gets the kill and gives up the position of Davy G by doing so. And there you have it. 2-2, two, two, all tied up. Yeah, not good news for the Movistar Riders at all. But as Chad mentioned, there'll be a nice opportunity to fully invest into round number five here. Martinez, however, 5,500. We'll have to make some concessions on the overall buy. Uh, that seems to be the case for most of them. No one getting a helmet here whatsoever, but Orp and Kevlar purchased at least. It was a nice shot from Davy G, but about all they got done there as we tie things up. And now Furia in full control of the pacing of the rounds. Well, let's see how they want to deploy this AWP on the defense. Only towards top heart, and that one there just facilitates a vent drop in future rounds. Martinez starting towards yard makes a whole lot of sense. As let's pivot back in time. The smoke wall get across the secret, and it doesn't appear to be a gap, so scurrying quickly. Nice work from Yuri. He's down towards secret very quickly indeed. Undetected, I suppose. They have no idea in terms of manpower. Yuri have deployed to the lower bomb site. That's what it's all about. Oh, this is an awkward one for drop. He commits to it, and it doesn't work out whatsoever. Yeah, that's as you're halfway through the biff and you have yeah. no way back, no way forward. They have to worry about this Mopo's position. He's going to be further forward. Art won't be able to rumble him. They want to get a lot of space yeah, here. Yeah, that's actually quite impressive. Even more so for Mopo's as he takes down the bomb there towards the CT vent. Rotation in from the AWP. This is looking fantastic now. For Movistar Riders bouncing back after receiving a difficult one in the previous. Okay, Serrano Portal all back in their favor, four on two. Yuri towards main entrance, K. Serato by the squeaky door right now, hoping for any sort of mistakes to be oh. made, and this could be the first one. Martinez will be dropped, that's the orb removed. Now it's a winnable round, Chad. They go vent again, there's already somebody lying in wait towards the lower side, that's Alex. K. Serato searching now, Yuri trying to protect him here as they need to get towards the back of the site and flush out who lies in wait, and ooh, an opportunity there, but Death just stands tall, and with the bomb loose, the swing comes out, the double peak is great, and they do trade, so... Fundamental CS there with the AWP retained. Good work there from the riders. You'll be happy from that one if you're the coach. Yeah, absolutely. That's a clean round. Uh, all things considered, got a little bit dicey there, but well handled, and uh, there's no chance of them throwing at heaven. So, 3-2. Still money available for Fury to buy up into this one. Maybe a change of pace, considering they've got two Galils here. Might try a little set piece. I've seen a lot of teams... Uh, a very effective one towards the upper bomb site here, especially against the AWP as well, could be interesting. That same approach, I would say, in terms of utility, but might just be having 
Uh, different amount of players proceeding towards the secret steps. Time will tell. The outside smoke that they threw on the T side was a, a little bit misplaced, I think. it's Yeah, it didn't actually give them the gap they were looking for. Unless they were intending to smoke off that side, but... Uh, I, I, unless they're spotted, it's not a big deal, right? Um, you can still travel across, and they have no idea on the numbers still. This is the issue, right? Getting through ramp, and Martinez is here now. The AWP. It's a difficult shot, job. though, of the AWP. Flash is going to land behind him. He dodges that. Martinez almost gets the double up. Felt like that would have been good for two. Clean through both, but drop goes down. They have so the space. Well. They forced him away, and, and that's perfect. That's picture perfect. That's such a difficult shot, especially that flashbang coming in as well. Has to completely avert his gaze elsewhere. Repositions and still gets the shot, but unfortunately, it's answered back very quickly. There's Yuri towards the secret steps. Find Davy G. Alex will chime in as well, maintaining that man advantage for the Mobistar Riders, but Furia have snuck out a squeaky. Mopos giving them a lot of control here. Do they check the position? It might not matter. I think Mopos have got a guaranteed kill here regardless. He seems to be aware of it, though. Molotov's in. It doesn't check him. Gives him the freebie. And there we have it. But here's the thing. You throw that Mol... Like, how it why is Mopos not peaked to trade his teammate? This is the thing. Mopos is the type of player, and I've seen it many times in a lot of these Riders games, where he will gladly sell his teammates down the river if it right. means they can secure the round. That's <laughs> it's why fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, and, and if you get the round, you get the round. So, it, quite stoic there not to swing after that initial exchange on the top side. This is great for Martinez again. Oh, surprised he didn't get a double there. Yeah. But... Uh, Unfortunate, I think. Good response from Furia. Just didn't account for Mopos, just tucking himself away for the entirety of the round. Forces Furia down to just the eco here. They've got PT-50s and Glocks, no armor. And uh, Yuri will be removed very early on. Keserata will follow. And uh, another foregone conclusion here. This is looking much better for the Movistar Riders. Maybe another double kill here. They line up for him. Defs looking to throw the final couple of players in the grave here. HE Grenade should do some substantial damage there, but not quite enough. Art uh, remains hoping he can get a knife kill as they wall past him. I think we go back to regular programming next round. There was a, a nice little move that Fury running. They throw like all the incendiaries, they molly top hut, they smoke up in front of Squeaky, and then they even throw this molly that lands on like the left side of that back wall that we're looking at now. Then they harass out the top side, they spam a lot. That's where Keserado was funding several picks yesterday. Uh, Art is just uh, giving you all a moment to breathe. Looking for the knife kill, but uh, Davy G one step ahead of him. And there we have it, 5-2. Pretty decent start for Movistar Riders. They'll have a nice reservoir of cash built up. Can't really say the same for Furia. They're still operating with about $4,500. Can't bring out the all people. No, they use the hashtag will. ESL Pro League. And uh, maybe it's a hot take. Tag at Henry GCSGO and at Sponge. Let us know about the Panthers. Here we go. I said regular programming. Exactly. As the uh, magazine says, it's... Squeaky space here for Keserado on the extinguished. They're looking ready to pop, and uh, you should be ready for this. The Riders, the prep up. Start aggressing Inez. through ramp here. Yeah, they have a lot of room, and Davy's going to swing out off of this. That's an easy kill. That's an easy kill, and drop. He runs in to try and grab the room back, but it's too little too late. Mopos slides Mopos. in. Oh, they no, did. They did. Okay. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's unfortunate. That was round guaranteed here, but might still be in the bag. Alex will pull one back here. Four versus three, and they're looking very controlled on the CT side. It's down to death, though. They have no idea of his presence here towards the T-Vent. They've slowed things down considerably. T-smoke towards heaven, and the bomb has been planted. A good chance now for Furia, but they need to be aware of deaths. He is very patient indeed, waiting for the backup from Alex towards main entrance. Will they detect drop on the other side of these boxes? Oh, we've seen it now. Yuri takes the swing from the back of sight. It's just going to be safe. Oh, not much chance. I think they're just going to stick diffuse. this. And with the smoke, it's done. That's going to be a 6-2 to two score line now. No hope for safe here. And he's even accounted for. You can see Death looking up towards the heavens. So great stuff. They save the AWP once more. This is much better. This is much better indeed. Yeah. Loving the look of this. This is the team we saw yesterday. Not in that first map. And uh, round nine. Looking good. Lots of assertive plays as well. What a common push then in the AWP and the M4 pushing in towards Lobby there. They timed it perfectly. Even gave up a, a kill for free almost. But this is the moment. The round fell in their favor. Defs does detect the presence of drop on the other side. Nice swing from heaven as well. And we get into round number nine here. It's going to be a partial by for Furia, saving up the AK-47 in the previous round. And Martinez offers himself up. A chance now. Keserato looking to exploit him. Can he find the second kill? It's going to be very close. There's a boatload of damage towards Montpass, but it's not quite enough. Alex fighting back in the main entrance and it's absolute pandemonium here on the upper bomb side. Smokes everywhere. Players flashed off. Mopos though, he'll be going down. He walks in front of the crosshair safe. 
Okay, well, Safe's been able to pick up the bomb during all of this. The no depth is on the back of the side. They have to deal with him if they want to go towards A. So much damage being done right now. Everybody's responding to this one. Only a few players left in this round, but everybody wants to hit this top side. And Safe's oh. hit another banger. That was from Squeaky Dog. Kayserado with you up. He's picked that one up. It's just Alex now, and everybody's dead. They didn't even get out on the bomb site and found all of the kills there. They were so stuck, locked out by the smokes, the flashbangs, incendiaries all over the place. But Furia fighting two for nail there from the squeaky door, somehow come out on top. And it all started with the aggressive Martinez pick towards squeaky door. He's taken down Kayserato, choosing to take matters into his own hands, then recovers the AWP. Safe hitting some absolute bangers here towards the upper bomb site. And that's how we close things out there. Deaths. Great work, and so thank you for bearing with us as uh, we get back into the action here. It's the second map between Mobistar Riders and Furia. We currently see ourselves at 6-3 to three in favor of the CT side. That is the Spaniards, of course. They'll be operating with five M4s here, and Orb, pretty much the first time available for safe here after winning a partial buy in the previous. We're going to convert a few more rounds and break down the economic walls of Mobistar, if possible. Frantic, as you might expect, there's players trying to duck and weave down towards events. And the outside execution of smokes, at least, will be deployed right now. I always love seeing if these have gaps in them. It's one of my favorite things to look for. Wait, in a furious these guys world. are approaching it. I dare say they probably will be at it, some point. It's always a little bit different. And, and that's yeah. what I like. I like the differences. I feel like we're doing it the same. How many copycats out there is they stay behind Alex the red box. Brave. Yeah, but he wants the info because he doesn't believe that Fury are actually outside. So as he creeps forward, he might actually get a kill or two here because nobody's looking. Nobody's expecting this. Fury spins. He does get the kill, but a lot of information there for poor Alex. Oh, too much available to him there. That's unfortunate. Man advantage over Fury, but a lot of damage inflicted. Mopos will detect Kesarazo's presence towards the squeaky door here. Incendiary bouncing all over the place, but uh, eventually hits the mark here, and Mopos will find his first kill of the round. Can't hold on to it, though. Four versus three as Defs fighting two for nail here on the upper bomb site. He's on an island as well, needs a bit of backup here. Okay, Serato presumably going to swing any second now, and down he goes. Not really much he could do there, Chad. Martinez, man at the moment. Incredibly skilled. Doesn't have the AWP to operate with, however. They have a Molotov for Heaven as well. If they drop that before they plant, they'll be fine, but... It looks like it's absolutely under control. I don't think they have the money to go for a round like this. I feel like Martinez fancies the chances, though. If he peaked a little bit earlier... Yeah, exactly. The there was, was going, like, a two-second window, yeah, right? Then maybe he could get an isolated fight, and then from that now, point, they could consider this. They still have the Molotov. You'd assume it's thrown towards heaven momentarily. They are trying this. They're giving the go right now. Martinez swings out. Maybe thinking of saves coming through. Kesarado gets one and make it two. That's a huge cleanup right there. Now... I mentioned this earlier, earlier in the day during our first series. It was like a round against Liquid yesterday on Mirage where Death just waited in a clutch. He flanked yep. them B apartments and they actually started running away assuming Death was saving and that co that cost them. So similar approach here, it won't pan out. Damn, Alex, that's so unfortunate. It was the perfect call, right? He, he read the situation very well. He gets behind two of them and then just can't decide on the targets. It gets awkward for him and things fall apart. So has to be the eco, unfortunately, for the Spanish team. They've only got four USPs, not even a PT-50. Oh, there is one. Moppers will have that. But uh, unfortunate scenes as uh, we get into a round number 11. Camping towards There's a Zeus. There's a Zeus, okay. Thank your pardon. Oh, safety, so, careful. We've got the highlight of the round here, everybody. I hope we get to see it used. I think we've been, is the term debated? I think that's the term they use in the Twitch chat. By the Zeus several times. Okay, Davy's still alive. Come on, Davy. Come on, Davy. Come on, Davy. Get into the corner. Get into the corner, mate. Not meant to be, Chad. This isn't the one. Never gonna happen. No. I have to do it on the next, the next diss track. <laughs> the next diss track? You're planning some more, are you? Well, it doesn't have to be targeted at the night shift. I see they've reeled in their silly antics since. Uh, yeah, they've got a lot quieter since that track's come out. I will say that much. A whole an hour and a half it's been live. Yeah. Don't hear them chatting as much shit these days. Yeah, they've really had to uh, calm down. <laughs> Where there's life, there's got to be hope, I suppose. And uh, we'll get into it round 12. We are back underway. Aggressive, of course, Martinez. Oh. He doesn't see the player cross over, though. This has been a very interesting position for a lot of authors, and what a flick that is. Art gets a taste of his own medicine. Up close and personal. Flashbangs deployed towards Ram Davy G. Surely gets one from this spot. It's a clean kill to kick things off. Martinez, he seems to be everywhere right now. Gets his second of the round. Four on two. Yuri and safe to try and recover the situation. Well, he's has it, had his impact here. That's exactly what you wanted from Martinez. Hits another shot. Safe gets 
tagged on down. The barrel is spotted, but you can't do anything about that, can you say? If you run into the hands of Alex, and it will just be Yuri. In a one-on-four situation with the bomb on his back. Now, plenty of time to work with. Over 60 seconds remain on the clock and repositioning swiftly. How is he going to piece this one together? No utility. Lots of time, as mentioned. And four fights to find. Let's stay on board with Yuri here as he makes his way back through Yard. Now, Safe will have given the information over to the position of Martinez, who is still standing towards a single box over towards Spawn. Now... Don't try and get close to this fighter. Does he want to see if he can make his way in through main? Might be considered at some point here. You can see it is Alex towards the top site currently postured. Well, he was postured to look towards the main position. Comes back with a quizzical glance. And now so does Martinez. So we'll just catch him in the side here. There you go. Perfect stuff. And a good round for Martinez. Outside ramp and then all the way back towards spawn. That's what you want. He's rotating Absolutely. around perfectly for the primary AWPR of the team on the CT side of Nuke. Really good round. Really well handled. Yeah, what a shot this was as well. We saw him appear on his screen. You'd assume R gets the drop on him, but what a what a flick that was. One for the ages. And uh, Alex just to close things out here. Comfortable round, but uh, a couple more to be played. And the Furia, for now, have enough cash to reinvest. AKs across the board. Maybe a change of pace once again towards ramp we go, Chad. Throwing in four players towards this side of the map. The smoke is very effective, however. Davi G does so much damage upon arrival. Gets the first kill, runs out of bullets now. Needs a bit of backup. Fighting two for nail there towards a ramp. But Martinez, he doesn't miss many shots. Converts yet another. How is he already down towards lower? Ready and waiting. And he's got support here as well. So the door open gives him an opportunity for another fight. He's going up to the next side of ramp. The smoke will bloom, which... It's going to make things a little bit more difficult here. Deaths as well, trying to see what he can find. Now, sure, Fury have this space, but what else do they have? A smoke, a flash, a dead Hello. safe, apparently. That is great from Deaths. Martinez, he might not be aware of the T already through the window, but I dare say it might not matter. He hits the shot. It's a no-scope. That's unreal. What a beast. He needs to be very careful here. His barrel might start sticking through. For... Ah, he doesn't have to be careful at all. This guy is uh, really lighting up the server. Three kills for him there, 11 in total so far. He's doing a great job. He is doing a great job. Yeah, that's sick. Fair play to him. One more buy available for Furia. A weak one at that. And you have to say, Davy G did his job here, Chad. He was uh, under a lot of scrutiny. Held him up, what, a good six, seven seconds there. Took one down with him. Sure, I did he would fall back. But he's got the back up there of Martinez as well, who absolutely wrecks house on them. That no scope and the gap in the smoke as well. Beautiful round from the new boy. As uh, he'll continue his rampage here, I'm assuming. We'll see. First kill. All go in favor of Furia, unfortunately, for the Movistar Riders. So, an aggressive biff once again towards outside. There's a gap in the smoke for you, Chad. We'll get across regardless. Martinez has called off the information. Look at this. There's always a gap in what Furia are up to here. Mopo's on the other side of this one. Case Serato and Mopo's on the fade. And sketchy, but Case Serato will get the better of him. Nose one's over towards the CT vent. Das is locked in for now and getting spammed through. It's only a lick of damage down to 50 points of health still. Standing tall, but this could be it from Ard if he gets the all jump, the and he is going to get the jump oh, oh, down, the down the ladder. So all the space, he might get two top kills here. There's the AWP right in front of him, dead, and there was a player CT van. If you listen to the comms, yeah. he has to know that somebody was towards that top side as well. Well, there it is. It's all under control, and it's going to be the sixth round picked up. Very clean one as well from Furia. Not a calm round by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. Uh, gaps in smokes, brutality in terms of the manpower towards outside. There's pushing through every gap they could find. And uh, it is going to be Art with three huge kills there. So what about this one as a submission here, Henry? We have Easy for Ents. Right. We have Rez when people, he does the big plates, are easy. Yep. And we have Phase backwards as Easy AF. Nice. And uh, what if we have Martin Easy? Martin Easy. Martinez. Oh, okay. <laughs> Martin Easy. I don't know. It doesn't have the same ring as the other ones, perhaps. <laughs> but Martin Easy... Um, and I do kind of like it still. I, I respect that you've done that. <laughs> it's like, own I don't think it's going to catch on, but I do like it. Not going to lie. Martin Easy. <laughs> um, okay. Round 15. And this is a bit of a nightmare for Moby Star Riders. They do have a buy available, but it might be worth a timeout. It's the final round of the first half. Round 15, of course. And they will have to operate with some concessions here. They will not have the AWP of Martin Easy. They will have a FAMAS in his hands for now. Three M4s. And Mopos with no armor on the gun round. He's actually gone for the M4 utility instead of having the protection of the Kevlar vest. So uh, he's going to be very squishy 
to say the least here, as we'll get into it now. Bombardment the utility, as you might expect, it's dropped. Receiving most of the damage now, and the CT's adjusting their setups. Sending two rifles towards the T-Red box. Be very careful there. If Furia pick up round number seven on their tally, they'll be in very good stead to find a 2-0, but 9-6, respectable from Movistar Riders if they can get it. Mopos tested towards the squeaky oh. door. He gets that first kill, but traded out by K Serato. Safe will chime in as well. And Ard looks in a prime position to find Alex here. Doesn't spot him though. They must have seen each other yeah, at some point. Alex definitely knows Art's there, and now Art knows something's up, so he's going to drop a defensive smoke. Hightower out of there. This is Furious round to lose. A one-way deployed from Alex. Still plenty of time on the clock. Seems to be the name of the game in the Furious versus Mobby Stars matchup. And if they regroup, they just have to get past a few more members. Now the Famuses. See them both poised here. Oh, dear. Not easy. It ain't <laughs> easy right now. He gets one and done. He absolutely does. 40 seconds remaining. Alex still in a pretty promising position. If he can somehow negate Art's presence towards the T-Red box, he could be onto something, but unfortunately for him, he cannot. Bomb planted looking very likely to be 8-7, which is a pretty decent half on the T-Set of Nuke Chad, has to be said. Yeah, Davi just jumped as well up towards the heavens, so I don't think anyone was close enough to hear it. But 8-7, uh, extremely likely now. Another little jump, another little cue to deal with. A flashback, and... I'm sure Davy's having a flashback to the start of this round. Where did it all go wrong? Well, 8-7 on the half to be secured. Furia today. Well then. Okay, Serato. Well, he doesn't want to slow this one down whatsoever. A lot of damage put out towards the squeaky door, but only gets one kill. Now, I don't think that will be enough. They've exploded towards the upper area, and it's now up to the dual elites trying to mow them down, but it's back and forth we go. Just one player remains. That's Alex. Ooh. He will find a shot down to just 10 points of health here. As we get into the one versus one, control of the bomb, and oh. he's actually given it away. Safe will challenge and lose the pistol. How has that happened? Great shooting there from Alex. Low on HP. Safe not expecting the repeak. Expecting something a little bit trickier there. Great stuff from Alex. That is going to put the riders up to nine, and a great start here into the second half. That's both pistol rounds. Let's see if it comes with the conversions here, because you know Fury are going to bite back with a force buy of their own design here. It's going to be... Oh, four, five, sevens, and an MP9. This is a very tidy looking buy here. Look at all the nades that they have around this as well. Plenty of smokes, couple flashes, HEs as well. This isn't gonna be easy for Movistar. Certainly not. And uh, at least they've got the first pick. That's Death striking from above there. Finds Arthur who's trying to tuck himself in towards T-Red, and this is looking fantastic now. Already got full lower control, and uh, Alex is waiting for the reactions here. So, save with his MP9. Last line of defense towards lower, and he's up against the MAC-10 there. Interesting util set that's been deployed here. I like to call this the, the aim map utilis. They smoke off main, smoke off towards the windows, and even molly credit cards. So, uh, applying a lot of pressure towards lower. I thought they'd wrap towards the heavens. Not going to be the case, and okay, Serato's hearing this in the vent. It's a hard clear. 5-7, perfect weapon for the job here. Lucky to be alive, and not for much longer. Saves turn. Batter up, bomb down. Doesn't really do too much for them, though, because they can't control that bomb, of course. They'll, they'll have to fall back as the nade comes through. Allows them to see through the double doors, but uh, they've caught a lot of rotations down towards lower. They'll think better of it. It's all on drop here, Henry. Where is he currently residing? They're coming back his way. He's smoked them off. Uh, great smoke to contain. They're trying to flash through. Drop's actually done a lot here. Have they got a player coming towards heaven? They have. That's Mopos. This is a key oh! frag now, but he comes out on top. Davi G to back him up. Four versus Ooh. two. Drop will have to tuck himself in towards the heart. Yuri firing off shots here towards main. Waste the incendiary, unfortunately for him. Had he had timed it a second later, could have been a different story, but that's it. It's going to be Movistar Riders finding double digits here and bending off the force by. Okay, well, looking good now to take us to that third map if we do require. As mentioned, it will be Vertigo. And we have one more fixture for you this evening here. That'll be at uh, 19.30 CEST or 7.30 local time. It uh, is Liquid versus EG. So we hopefully can get you three maps out of this series. The first one didn't go the distance. It was a 16-12, 16-11 scoreline as we do follow through on Mopoz on the hunt here. Let's see if he can take this away from poor old Drop. Time will tell. Doesn't look good for Drop, say that much. And uh, they'll be fine if they lose a MAC-10 here because if they find the frag, it's another $600 in their favor and then remove any chance of threats. Could be the double kill, but uh, not going to happen. So Drop will have nothing into the follow-up round. Well, we start right, should have everything. Three players survive, and they've got a couple of rifles as well. So difficult start now for Furia in the second half. A good chance of Keserato oh. here. Couldn't quite find the head. 
He has to swing. He's low HP. And that was where Dabby G saved the day there. Yeah, there's a couple of moments, like j just before disaster type moments in that in that uh, round, right. but it's all good as it will just be the economical coming forward here for Furia. Now, I think that this is great to see this response from the riders because if they were just blown out again here, then we would have so many more questions of, well, what the hell happened yesterday? Uh, and now it's like, okay, well, they get blown out on their map choice, but that's fine. Mentally, they're not broken. They're here to play. They're back in it. They've reached double digits. It's looking much more comprehensive. Sure. Happier with what we're seeing. Furia, well, in their map choice, it's not that they're getting blown out of the water by any means. They did the job on the T side. Now they'll get to start working on the CT side, but just with the pistol and conversions down the drain. So the game truly starts in the next round. it will be a four round gap that's accrued here. Nice shot there from Alex to finish off K Serato, and we get underway. Now, Safe has 6K to his name, and AWP more than viable. Certainly. Do you want it, though? I would say probably yes. First gun round, set the tone, gone against it. So operating with five M4s here. Full array of utility though, and a diffuse kit. So uh, safe will be monitoring any potential plants as we get into what Chad called the, the first real gun round here so the game starts and movie star riders will be tested. Three players towards outside for now, including the bomb. I like this move from Alex. He actually mantled over the box there so that he could push past the flames. So he actually has a lead on this, maybe a little bit more aggressive than they're expecting. And the timing of this could catch multiple players off guard. Yes. A, a mother's meeting on the side here, drop not looking, and exactly that. That little move from Alex was key. Well spotted, Chad. Alex with excellent work to sneak out as well. They've got themselves an early man advantage. No response whatsoever. A little bit discombobulated, perhaps. Arts trying to pick up the pieces, but is toying with them on the map here, leaving Davi G in position towards the warehouse position, actually heading towards ramp right now. So they're changing things up completely. Alex will do well to survive here, and they do one better. Arts dropped by Davi G. Oof, massive problems for Furia. Massive, massive problems. The number disadvantage, make it two, and we've seen them be able to pull off rounds like this before, but on the Nuke CT side where they're left scratching their head, they can't find a fight. Apparently not. And uh, this is the round for Movie Star Riders to give away if they were going to difficult to lose this one five on three and alex can't shoot on the ladder but he certainly can now oh it's actually got out of hand but we'll be given the kill eventually and there it is that should confirm things here unless case serato does some unspeakable things down towards the lower bomb side but they're handling it very well nothing he can really do here he'll nade off the door i don't know that's gonna buy him i guess he could try and deny the plan now he's not even hearing it go down so yeah at least is Kesarado and Yuri still alive? If they had a kid, I could start painting you a pretty picture, but uh, right now it's probably just the save call, 12 to seven. Well, it's starting to fall apart now. These are very important rounds that Movistar Riders are winning. They now go 4-0 on their T-Sad campaign. 12-7 overall. And Kesarado and Yuri just to save the M4s. It didn't really get much done there at all. I'm, I'm glad that, well, I know it's still early. I want to, I'll reserve going mega hard on this before the group has come to its conclusion. Okay. But if the riders can be competitive against everybody in this group, whether they make it or not, is going to have changed where I put this team. I didn't think that they would recover after the Sampaya situation because Which after the team as a unit had climbed the mountain, had done well in Cologne, won Valencia together, you're thinking, surely he's not going to leave. And then he leaves. Here's the run boost. It's very cool, isn't it? It's great. A great way to uh, deal with that Molotov. So, so great stuff there. Fantastic on the highlight, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, had all the time in the world to pick up these follow-up kills. Alex does a great job. What a round he has. And you can see the frustration starting to set in now for Furia. Who will invest once again, but uh, only with one more rifle. Yeah, this is an art play. Yeah, it's going to say art to anyone that's bought up, but... Uh, We'll see what he can make of it. If they win the round, great. If they lose it, they might be in a bit of trouble here. Arts will try and play heads up counter strike. Right in the thick of it. And there's already a player down towards Secret. Spots one now towards C main, but it doesn't work out for him whatsoever. Yeah, if you're not getting the jump on them, you have to make sure you win out in the fight. So this round's feeling very unlikely now. Lost art, lost control. Yuto is this incendiary in the hand that safe will recognize and deploy, but it's not going to buy them until the one minute mark. This is exactly what the riders want. You do as much of your go gear as you have. Now, here's an aggressive maneuver. Drop partnered up with K Serato and a lobby crawl. Tucked him in towards the squeaky door room. Still 
have Alex on the lower side of things for all of this. Yeah, good point. Martin Easy makes his way in towards Bramp. He's making it look easy right now. Oh. Not quite the double kill, but as good as his crossover is in the prime spot. And uh, we're into another five versus two. Now, bear in mind, they saved two rifles in the previous round, so this was a partial investment, but Art has invested everything he had. And there uh, was all for naught, really. Didn't really get going at all. He's the first kill to go down, and it's a clean sweep from Morby Star Riders here. Just going to save the Deagle, the M4 by the looks of things. Looking very good for Fury up. No, and, and I, I suppose if we're going to contrast Ancient to Nuke, on the CT side, we are expecting some resistance, right? Whereas the T side start for the Riders over there on Ancient, yeah, look, if they considered an 11-4 or 12-3, like, oh, okay, that that's kind of normal. Right. Whereas now Furia, they're on the defense of their map pick and they're really struggling. And uh, yet to get around, if that wasn't clear. Will we get... It will get clearer and clearer, I'm sure, as time goes on. 13-7 down at this stage. Money in the proverbial bin. Max loss bonus, sure, but uh, fortunately, Caterod is saving a weapon, kind of uh, fixes that issue for them. Do you we'll drop art, drop. though? Do you, do you bother? <laughs> do you, do you deserve listen, it? Mate. Like, uh, what was the word that uh, Maui used? Was it fiduciary? We had to look it up. Like, what is Maui's word of the before. bloody dictionary? What's, yeah. it, what's going on here? Ad campaign. Operating with five rifles once again. This time, deaths on the M4A1S. Mopos. Have a chance here. Big spray down towards Squeaky. Gets a bit more than he bargained for, though. Case Rider right, finally coming out on top. And maybe a quick response there as Alex throws flashes in towards Upper, but no one pouncing just yet. Those traces through the smoke are like a lighthouse through the fog. Yes, indeed. And uh, Case Rado is the boat. Now, in this analogy, the boat would want to avoid the land. However, Definitely. he's a battleship. Okay. So that's why he's what blasted the well, he's blasted the lighthouse of Mopos. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So, so he's taking it down. End. Yeah. Right. Precisely. Uh, that one came to me on the fly. That's why it was <laughs> bad. Not the tightest. No. We can work on that. Definitely can. And uh, working on their outside presence. Oh, the CT dry now. Arts towards the back of the warehouse. Just has Alex to contain. It's Yuri who's got bigger problems towards the ramp room. He can hear them. Ducking and weaving around the mouth of the ramp room now. Say that's, uh, that's a big shot to miss, my friend. An opportunity now to access the ramp as Alex continues his probe towards outside. Okay, Serato, 20 kills for him. Been having a great game. Loves this squeaky door angle on either side of the map. His aunt has picked a new hidey hole. He's about to have a duel towards Alex outside and he has taken down Davi. Martinez. Oh, so good. See how many more he can get because he's just lighting up two. That's all he's going to get. And a great round here for Fury to eventually get their first CT round converted. Their first one. Now that's unfortunate. They are down 0 5 in the second half. Now at least 5 and 1. We'll see what they can do with it as we'll take maybe a tactical timeout. It looks like we're all good to go. AWP available for save once more. And this was the missed shot. That can cost them the round, but it certainly didn't feel good. Martin. Easy, as we're calling him these days. Managing to get two show-stopping shots there towards Upper. And still plenty of cash on the T side here. He's got a lot of work to be done before we break the bank. So, AK-47's on the CT side now as well. Should boost their chances. Well, they need a consecutive round, don't they? They need like two or three now in a row. Still in control of this one are the riders, but let's see how they want to dictate the pace here. Alex, back towards Yard and giving Fury a tutorial on how to smoke throw yarn smoke so looks like an L block has been established here the thing is you have to play against it so you may as well get used to it it's the push from safe another miss three peak it's gonna get hot again yeah it's the flame seems to be his biggest problem time and time again oh I like this from Alex though once again across cleanly they have no idea in terms of manpower there will be more possibly that's towards Ram finding Yuri another huge frag the first incision has been made but there's a hard to take the presence of Alex already in the warehouse here. This is crucial. You'll be aware of the possibility of it, but who comes out on top? It's going to be hard this time. It takes quite a lot of damage there on route. Now, if he rotates back towards Ram, look at Mopoz. He's being an absolute rat behind the back. Just chilling at the box, waiting for the rotation point, and now will activate, and they quickly slink down towards lower. Safe's here with the big green. Needs to hit the first. There are smokes for this position, and I'm sure they'll be deployed momentarily. There it is. Yeah, he's in trouble now. That AWP completely nullified, but the M4 reigns supreme. 
Can he find the second? Arts will back off considering his low HP. Oh my goodness, Caserato. That's not the cleanest interaction we've seen from him, but still alive and kicking. Maybe not for long, though. The Tech Nine is whipped out. And we still have eight seconds on the clock, but I don't think they'll be planting the bomb here, Chad. It looks like the round is over. Not the cleanest by any stretch, and they'll find the Orba Martinez, but uh, just more pot remaining. So, an exciting round, but uh, there we have it. Just one AK remaining. for Fury to hang on to that after Yuri goes down at ramp. True. There was a lot of space taken. I guess it's difficult for Alex to pull back. And if Alex wins that exchange against Art, then Art doesn't, well, kill Alex and then get the kill over towards ramp. Very assertive running. In towards the choke point here, and, well, there it is. He converts it. He doesn't miss many. 21 kills to his name now. And, uh, they'll slow things right down at this stage. It's up to Arts and Co. to try and answer back, but it's falling apart once again. Five on three before the round's even really begun here. And uh, I'm not sure this one's recoverable. It's up to Safe, who's not hitting the most shots. Well, Caserato's still alive. So if he can kill all five, I think they can win the round. Okay, that makes sense. Back towards Yard, they're going to track. They have so many smokes. This is what happens when you take an aggressive move like this on the CT side and you don't come out on top. So right now, Riders have quite truly everything they need and more to secure this round. So at least suggesting they can cross outside the secret now. So... Okay, Serato would need to find a lot from a little. Little does he know he's got five players in front of him right now, but there's the first. Did he spot the foot? I don't believe of Alex. He's still uh, aware, though. He's still very aware. He, he, oh, 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 peers around the corner. That's the orb gone as well. And knows that Alex is close. This is wow. huge. I said kill everybody. I was being facetious. He's actually pulled it off. Three kills to his name, and they're trying to peel back and find him here, but 25 seconds remaining. How is this one falling apart? It's Caserato on for the ace. He's not going to find it, but uh, still, what an incredible job that was. Excellent effort. After going down to a five on three, takes matters into his own hands and starts mopping them up through the smoke there and gets four kills in total. Amazing work. And this is how it all started. They lost the first couple of frags. Yeah, this one here from Deaths just tracking Art, who has had a couple of odd deaths towards Yard with his aggression has been caught out more often than not. But Caserato, this awareness as well of Alex's position, because he's traditionally the one lurking outside behind right. that L block smoke. So you can see him just trying to sniff him out and does so. And look at this, the riders, wow, they're not completely broken, but don't have AKs. Yeah, well, after going down zero and five, they needed a bit of magic in their favor. And now everything's starting to look a little bit better. Caserato that makes a bit of a meal of that first interaction. This could fall apart quickly as they start to spray them down through the smoke here. The Tech Nine's coming online as Martinez will post his first kill of the round, and that's all they get. Well held. Fury are back in the driving seat now after finding four rounds in a row. Good response. Caserato wants to get this one done in two, I think. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Look, 28 kills, five assists, 12 deaths. He has... 117 ADR, 147 utility damage, seven effective flashes. He's uh, mauling them now. Saw what Zantara's got up to before an overpass. Thought he wanted a little bit of a try, but the buyback. No AWP available here for Martin Easy. It's going to be 5 AK 47. So what's the strat going to be? Because apparently, even if they get the opening kills, that doesn't matter a whole lot for the rider's side. Apparently not. A five on three. Well within the remit of Fury as they get aggressive, of course, towards outside. They're looking for another fight here. It's the AK-47 in the hands of Yuri this time. And Alex, he has been a nuisance towards this outer area, but can he come out on top? It all comes down to the timings here. I don't think he's got the advantage. Yuri oh. completely destroys him. It's towards ramp we go once again. And it's up to safe. 13 kills. Great shot. Just needs to stay alive here. He doesn't have to stick around. He can hear them. And that's the correct call. Get the hell out of there. It's not worth the risk. Yeah, giving them the space here over towards ramp, and they're not going to surge forward towards hell. They're actually expecting a rotation point back, and there's two players already residing down towards B. This is the right call for Furia. Absolutely. And they still have smokes, flashes, HEs. And if Yuri just gets at least one here, call it done. He opened up the round. Let's see if he can close it here as well. Three kills available. They're not going to expect him here. Yuri draws the first, and they continue to fight. Martin, always with a yeah, the response safe. there. It's, uh, safe. Sniffing Bob. Without some time, New is between a rock and a hard place. It's Davi G and Martinez to close things down. The bomb planted. Molly Possible towards now. ramp. Art can just peer out the other side. Two from single door. Art spots out one. Martinez goes down. It will just be Davi G and the one on three. Can't exactly see the bomb right now, and he will be smoked off as well. So in a lot of trouble, the defuse can come in momentarily. Will they tap it? 
Here we go. Molotov Daddy is actually making this very awkward for them. The bomb's ticking at some pace now, chat. They need to be very careful, but there we go. It will be under control. A double HE bombardment there towards the double door room, and it's 13 to 12. That's now five rounds in a row. They really are alive and kicking on the Brazilian side. Plant's good. They can buy again. True. Uh, there, there can be a purchase again here, but now it's five consecutive rounds for Fury to turn this into a one-round game. And Fury, it's crazy. He was there outside getting the opening pick, and the next thing they knew, he was down towards Lower. Lower, helping out safe when he needed it most. It got a little bit dicier. And I think Fury were hoping for here, but both teams back in with a full buy. No AWP though on this defensive side for Fury. Uh, maybe something aggressive again. I know it didn't work previously, but they're the type of team who love to push the issue. Absolutely true. And it will be oh. Fury forcing that issue once again. Mopos dropped at the start of the round. That's towards Ramp, a decent HE. Doesn't do too much damage there, but it had the right idea. Art's now repositioning. Does he want to go any further with this one? Players all around him right now. The swing would be ideal at this stage, but not even required. Safe actually looking uh, pretty handy with the AK-47 being tapped away. Oh, his poor toes, but uh, just deaths to survive this situation. And they only get one kill in the round. We tie things up at 13-13. Chad, six rounds in a row, looking quite good now. And no plants, so this will have no to be plan. a partial buy. Maybe the Tech Nines to wreck house in towards A. Could be something quicker, or event drop. Something with a bit more pace because I'm not sure what the riders can get up to here. Fury is the can opener, apparently. Two consecutive rounds, two opening frags. Actually worked out nicely for safety of the AK. I think if he took Absolutely. the shot, he might have had to have dipped on back after the first, so he could stand and deliver. Yeah, totally agree. And uh, he'll hold on to it as well. I think he has the AK-47 this time as uh, we get in. 600 bucks. Yep. 900 if you want to be safe. So, these rounds are still possible. Not a foregone conclusion the Fury will win this one. The Tech 9 can be an absolute menace. And with the flashbang combination as well, they've got down towards the vents. A couple of players towards the ramp. At least the bomb's not down there, at least. But uh, Yuri will be dropping from the ramp. He needs to be very and He's out of position here. I don't like this at all. Yeah, they're directly blowing. Maybe they heard. Maybe they spotted him. Maybe they know something right now because Yuri doesn't seem to know a whole lot. He's got support. Multiple members just teaming down ramp to back him up. And Yuri still gets the opening kill of the round. Now back towards ramp. Fury are here, there, and everywhere and are dealing with this. Yes. It looked problematic for a second, but not anymore. Well, there still could be a few more twists and turns. Well, uh, shutting down all prospects now for the Movistar Riders. Three versus one for Alex. And that's a great shot to kick off his campaign here. Has got the bomb as well. At the mouth, at the ramp right now. Got a smoke available to him. And he'll be deploying it towards the windows. Good grenade will do even more damage now. Takes another 25 points of health. Waiting for a potential flank. And it might be coming, but drop is in towards the lobby right now. So he'll be waiting a while. What's the next move? Certainly possible to win this one. It'd have to be a thinking man's approach. The issue is the time. It's putting him under the pump. And the further they were away from him, the more questions Alex has. Do you want to finish towards B? Does he want to try and make the move towards the heavens here? The decision will be made for him shortly. Looks like he will have to finish towards the lower side of things. Now, this he's is just, where K. Serato resides. He's just given enough time to suggest he could go towards upper. Okay. And now we've got a round on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. He knows a low will be clear at this stage. That time he waited has given him enough leverage to potentially go back towards the ramp room. <gasps> will he be spotted? I don't think he was. So he tucks himself in towards Shadow. All he can do is hope for the best. Play the bomb to the best of his ability now. One versus one against Drop. The new boy needs to step up. One shot will do it. And he is going to be checking the position, Must unfortunately, for Alex. Yeah. Must have seen we it. We saw like a little gap on our POV. I wasn't sure whether he actually got the information, though, but he must have done. You're right. There's no way you creep on way that too position, much otherwise. Conviction, right? Wild, yeah. Just creeping and crawling all the way up on him. That blinder of a shot to Case Serato must have been massive. Yeah. Disgusting. 25 HP and he pulls that one off. Another plant at least. So uh, there's something. Definitely wasn't uh, a gimme round. Are uh, doing uh, good work. And that's where Alex started to make things uncomfortable. The grenade landed. What a debut on land here for Movistar Riders. Great stuff from him. Boost again. Oh. Quite naked this time. That shuts him down. Okay. Nice idea. On high alert, surely, at this stage for Fury, knowing what worked against them previously. Sure. Alex is going to try it again by the looks of things. Why not? Oh, he's not got away with it again, has he? Why is no one considering this? Why, why is nobody considering this? How does Alex get away with this? This is the round that, that Ryder started early in art. He, he's calling the smoke wall outside. They're just not reactive enough to deal with that. 
And now another one. Davy G comes out from the warehouse side. What a mess. you have done all the hard work and then forgot what put them in this place in the first place. Well, there it is. Alex has helped himself to a bit of a freebie out there. And it's another five on three. Now, Furia have managed to fight their way out of this sort of scenario before, this exact one, to be honest with you. But Keiserato was positioned towards the warehouse before. This time, however, towards main entrance and pumping the brakes. Mobby style riders preparing for any sort of reactive play here. Safe. Presumably goes down here, but that's a angle. huge kill. Once the second as oh, well, no, he's no, got no. out. He might even oh! get the third! Oh, he's been quiet all game, but that is a monstrous performance. Finds the bomb towards Squeaky. A triple kill just when they needed it most. And now Alex under scrutiny once again. 30 seconds remaining. I can't believe they've done this. He'll have to recover the bomb. Two players to deal with. And surely that's it. Series points stolen away from Mobistar Riders as he'll flash off. He's desperate at this point. Looking for the double kill. Not going to happen. And there it is. Safe finding stolen by Safe. AK-47's bare bones utility. One more round will do it. Yuri primed and ready to spray them down towards ramp. Incendiary to block their assault towards his position. And I'll save to rotate. Are they done for? That's a good looking unlikely now, but it all comes down to this moment. Flashbangs being deployed towards Ramparam. First kill will be very important indeed. Safe fancies. A couple more, it seems. It's Art converting the man advantage once again, but the trade from Davy G. Three on three, still alive and well. A minute on the clock. They have gained access towards the Ramparam. Alex towards outside, as you might expect. They have got themselves five flashbangs and a Molotov, a couple in fact, but no smokes. Well, I understand why they don't want to head towards this upper bomb site. Case Rado's here. He's tucked in towards the CT vent. Uh, Drop is patrolling, looking for any information he can over towards heaven. And Yuri ducked towards the lower site very early in the piece. Now, Case Rado has 29 kills to his name. How many more can he get before things finish here in map number two? He appears on out from the vent. He will see Martinez. It's all going to come down to the timing, and there's one. It's Alex to drop. 30 kills for Keiserado now. The sport can be making its way over. Molly now has to fight. Has been dealt with. It's Drop's turn. He's announced his presence from the heavens. They're going to go down the vent. They're going to go down the vent. Straight to Yuri. That's the oh, cool. Yuri could 